It's too windy here, guys. Alright everybody, what is going on everyone? This is Rama from the Rambutan Show 2 and thank you for tuning in to another episode in my Australia vlog series. We're on episode 3 right now, so if you haven't checked out the past two episodes, I'll be sure to have links down in the description below. Now undoubtedly, this was my favorite day of the entire trip. I got a lot of cool things to show you guys, so without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Our tour for today centered around the Great Ocean Road and the 12 Apostles National Park. It was going to be a 12 hour tour in total, so we had to start off our day really early. We stopped at a gas station to have some McDonald's breakfast. Now a good friend of mine once told me that Australians called McDonald's Maccas. I didn't believe him at first, but then when I heard some Australians actually say Maccas around the vicinity, yeah, my doubts quickly disappeared. My auntie is elevated. My cousin is beautiful as always. And Tia is hungry. Say good morning. It's day three of our Australia trip. We're heading out to some really cool places today. Our main attraction is the 12 Apostles, which is apparently like some really cool rock formation. It's gonna be really awesome. And right now we're gonna head out on a road and we're gonna continue this road trip. So the first official stop of the tour was the mouth of the Anglesey River, located in a town aptly named Anglesey. Very creative. The river was really nice and it was so serene. In fact, the entire place had a relaxing and calming vibe to it. There was also a little park with some benches next to the river. A great place for lounging, if you ask me. A little ducky! Yeah, bread. Yeah, bread. What, mom? A little ducky! Unfortunately, we didn't stay long at the place due to time constraints, but I tried to take advantage of the time and I took a bunch of pictures and videos. Check it out right here. After Anglesey, the family and I got our first look at the world famous Great Ocean Road. And my goodness was it stunning. I also liked how there were a number of car parks and stops along the route. This makes it really easy for transitors to just jump out of their car, enjoy the fresh air, and indulge in the view. One of the more famous stops in the route was this white sand beach located along the Lorne slash Queenscliff Coastal Reserve. As you can see, there were a lot of people there, taking pictures and videos. Now I loved this beach, primarily because the landscape looked completely untarnished. Not to mention, the sand was really soft. It almost felt like that your feet would sink into the sand with every step, which was pretty cool. Luckily, we were able to spend around a half an hour in this beach, so the family and I took advantage of this by recording a ton of videos and pictures. After 10 minutes of driving from the previous beach, we arrived at our second stop, which was also another beach along the Lorne slash Queenscliff Coastal Reserve. However, the big difference between this beach and the previous beach was that this one was covered in textured rock. Just looking at all the rocks that were formed from erosion, it's an amazing sight. It looked so good that my Aya Abby told me that this place must be man-made. It's man-made. What's up, man? Hey, man. It's man-made. I disagreed with him, 
but I'm not completely sure. This is another stop at our Great Ocean Road tour. This is um, another beach. The sand on that previous beach was so fine that your foot would sink in. But this one, it's pretty rocky, but it's also beautiful in its own sense. Hi, Hi. You like it here? Yeah. Now, we didn't stay long here, so I only took a handful of videos and photos. Check it out. That's my Uncle Michael. It's dangerous, never Why don't you go onto the rocks, Uncle Michael? Nah, I'm good here. <laughs> <laughs> Now unfortunately, we weren't able to get the full experience of the Great Ocean Road because a majority of the route was actually being used for an ultra marathon that was happening that day. So we had to go up to the mountains as an alternative route. With that said, I still mounted my camera right up on the dashboard of our tour bus. Now after an hour or so of driving, we finally arrived in this small town called Apollo Bay to have our lunch. And apparently, Apollo Bay was the final stop in the ultra marathon. So I was able to take some pictures and videos of the finish line. So it's currently around 2.15 in the afternoon. We passed through a lot of mountainous roads because we had to bypass a lot of the Great Ocean Road uh, route that we were supposed to take due to a uh, triathlon, a marathon, or something like that that was happening. We're gonna have lunch. That's my dog and that's my mom. Where are we going? We're going to have lunch, right? After lunch, we headed to Mate's Rest, which is a small hiking trek in the middle of the forest. But since we were on a tight schedule, we didn't really go deep into the trek. And unfortunately, I don't really know that much of the place. But still, I was able to get some pictures and videos. And of course we saved the best for last. The grand finale of our Great Ocean Road Tour was the 12 Apostles National Park, where we got to see some really cool looking limestone formations, just located off the Victorian coast. What's up everyone? We arrived here at the 12 Apostles Park, or at least I think that's what it's called. And despite being called the 12 Apostles, there are actually only 8 of these limestone structures still standing. Apparently, there was a ninth one, but it collapsed back in 2005, which is really unfortunate. And to think that this was all possible because of erosion, literally, the forces between land and sea are creating art, and it's a beautiful thing, guys. Seeing a place like this felt like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so I took every chance I could to capture and record videos of every corner of this place. But that was not so easy, because if you couldn't tell from the video, the place was so windy, I couldn't even hold the camera straight most of the time. What the f it's too windy here, guys. Despite this, I think I did a pretty good job, and I am very proud of the pictures and videos that I was able to take home with me. our whole day road trip that brought us around the great ocean road took us through some mountains of forest 
We went to a small town, had lunch, and now we get to see this beautiful view of the ocean with the 12 apostles. Undoubtedly, the third day of my family's Australia trip was my favorite one. All the stops that we took from the Great Ocean Road to the 12 Apostles National Park just made the entire vacation. And I'm glad that I was able to enjoy it with the family by my side. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and perhaps even consider subscribing to the channel. I got more videos in store for you guys. So be sure to stay tuned for day four, which is coming on the channel really soon. Thanks again for watching, guys.